Hey, hey, how's it going? Um, talking leadership simplified part three. I hope you've had a chance to view uh, either the blog. I'll post it in the in the comments here when I'm done, or uh, the other two videos that I connected um, with it, which are posted in the blog now. So they're there, they're available. Or you can see them on IGTV, Facebook Live. Uh, search them out. Probably the easiest way is just to go back to the blog and and uh, have them posted there. But leadership really is uh, simple. We, we, we can simplify it, we can break it down into a couple key components. Um, leadership simplified is uh, know yourself, uh, the three things you need to know. Uh, know yourself, uh, know your business, and uh, know your team. And so when I talk about knowing yourself, I'll, I'll tell you just about myself, my, my two things, my two items under know yourself are um, my, my giftings are, are speaking and leading. So those are the things that I'm gonna be best at, those are the things that I'm going to uh, excel at, those are my strength zones. So if I'm staying in the area of speaking or leading, then I'm, I'm using my, my gifts where I'm gonna be the best at. And, and that's where I wanna stay. I know myself, I know the challenges that I have in the way of administrative stuff. So I have to find people around my life that can help me in those areas. That's what I'm talking about with know yourself. Now when we talk about know your business and know your team, I want to I want to break it down really uh, simple and uh, let's just go to a family analogy. So I have five kids, married with five kids, so we have a built-in team. I have a built-in team of people that I'm working with every day. And uh, my wife and I, we have some goals within our life and within what we're doing as a family right now. And so we really have, I could boil our knowing our business down to three key things as far as the vision for our, um, our family right now. And that is um, our kids. We're trying to love our kids and build them up. Um, we want them to love us and be in relationship with us. Um, ongoing and uh, want to be in relationship with us after they uh, move on into adulthood. Um, that's a big thing for us and we want them to, to have an established faith. And so um, we're followers of Jesus and we want them to um, live lo their lives and be more like Christ in everything they do. So, so that's a big thing for us. The other two things are my wife is in school right now and so her finishing up her degree is a big part of what we do. Our life is, is really revolves around um, that key component. Um, of what we're doing and then for me it's building my business building a speaking leading training business and so those three things really uh, I talk about it in in the teaching I did power of a pre-made decision once you're clear on where you're going and, and 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 your purpose and what you're supposed to be doing it makes all the other decisions much easier so know your business so Leadership Simplified, know yourself, your strengths, your challenge areas, know your business, know the key components of what you're trying to execute on and where you're trying to go. And then the, the final one, know uh, your people. And so as it relates to family, I have kids that have different strengths, different challenges. Um, is as it pertains to this doesn't work in the business world but this works in the family and relationship world when you're trying to know um, those relationships that are closest to you your spouse your children um, the uh, a great book to to reference for that is uh, the five love languages because I can look at every one of my kids and some of them they they communicate love through quality time my wife time spent together others it's gifts others it's um, uh, physical touch. And so I've got a couple daughters that they just want to snuggle all the time, right? They just want to come over on the couch and, and lay on me and snuggle on me. And if, if that's something that I don't want to do, I've got to be very careful because saying like, hey, get off me. I don't, I don't want you to lay on me right now. Um, that can be extra uh, painful and hurtful for some more than others. And um, so knowing my children. Now that doesn't work with, with our, uh, in our work environment. So I wanna give you some real specific things on how you can better know your team or know your people. And let me give you some 
some key components. So I'm going to give you four different types of people that you're going to have on your team and then some ways that you can relate to them or you can motivate them in the workplace. So you might want to pen and paper right now as I talk about these uh, key components. But if you have someone on your team that is more decisive, uh, competitive, and independent, so they're decisive, competitive, and independent. They're a driver on your team. Then what you want to do with them, how you want to interact with them, how you want to relate to them on that, that behavior style, that personality type, is you want to allow them freedom from controls. So you want to give them a little, a little extra freedom um, from controls when they're working. You want to give them problems to solve. They're problem solvers. They, they, they want the, the big challenging problems that they can work on and have a task and have a project that they can execute on. And then you want to stroke their ego with recognition. So write them up in a newsletter and, and let them post it and let them promote it on social media. That is really going to motivate them to work harder and to, to follow you and to, to connect with you on a deeper level. Uh, another type of person you might have on your team is a more talkative, optimistic, outgoing uh, type of person on your team. That type of team member is going to be motivated by a friendly, uh, humorous, and informal interactions. That's how they want to relate to you. That's how they want to connect. They want you to ask them, hey, how's your day going? Like start the email with, I hope you're having a great week. Um, how's your week going? How's, how's life? Did you have a nice weekend? And then move into what you um, want to talk about. Uh, you want to be friendly. Uh, you want to use public flattery and praise with them. Um, I, I can talk about this type because I'm, I'm primarily, this is my number one um, uh, in the behavior styles. And uh, that flattery, that praise, it, it, it sounds shallow and, and maybe... Maybe I'm the most shallow type. I don't know. But that kind of stuff, I love it. It means a lot to me. And so I know that it will mean the same for your team members that are on your team that are more talkative, optimistic, and outgoing. And another thing you can use, how you can leverage their strengths, that type of team member, you can leverage their strength by giving them opportunities to speak publicly or to lead a meeting. I had one oversight, one person that was leading me that they, um, they were great at the strategic planning side. Um, but they weren't as good at, at the, the speaking, the public speaking side. And so they would have me lead meetings and, and be their spokesperson. And that is fantastic. That's a great way to leverage different skill sets of team members um, on your team. So uh, we've talked about the more decisive type. We talked about the talkative type. How about the, the dependable, agreeable, systematic type person that you may have on your team? Um, with them, you want to show them sincere appreciation. Show them sincere appreciation where I can, I love the, the, the shallow <laughs> words of affirmation in public. Uh, I don't care how sincere you are. I just want to capture it on video and promote and post it, okay? Um, but uh, but with, with this type, the dependable, agreeable, systematic type, they want that sincere appreciation. Hey, set, sit with them, sit across the table from them, look them in the eyes and, and tell them specifically why you appreciate them so much. Slow down your speech. Look them in the eyes. Say, I really appreciate you. I appreciate how dependable you are. I appreciate how you come in day in, day out. You have your system. You work your system. I value you on the team. You are highly valued on this team. Slow down your, your, your speech. And that's how you can connect with that person. Give them attainable goals. Um, they're not, they're not going to work as well with those stretch goals that they always fall short of. Give them attainable goals um, in the work environment and provide regular feedback on their performance. Regularly talk to them, connect with them, let them know, hey, here's where you're at. Here's what I appreciate. Here's where I, I think we can get a little better. There's an opportunity here. Okay, that's how we can talk to that uh, type of team member that we have. And then the final one is the more analytical, serious, or orderly type of person. This is the type of person that is going to, um, uh, when, when, if you don't ask a question in a text, they're not going to give you a response. Okay, um, they, they, whereas me, I'm more outgoing. I'm just going to, I'm going to respond whether you ask a question or not. Um, and, and this person, they're going to give one word responses to, to yes and no questions. You know, they're just going to say yes or no. That's it. They're not going to fill in any context unless you ask for it. Um, but let them know. If you identify a person on your team that's like that, let them know exactly what is expected of them. Be very clear on, on what your expectations are of that type of person. 
Um, they're not going to fill in the blanks automatically, so you need to be clear with it. Uh, keep them informed with changes and policies. If you make any changes uh, or any policy changes, make sure you inform them on that. They want to read over it. They want to understand. They want to they uh, know it. That's going to help them be more effective, and that's going to motivate them in the workplace. And then finally, reward them for their loyalty, their discipline, and their perseverance. Those are key. Those are high value for them. And so you want to recognize those qualities in them and affirm those qualities in them. Uh, I have Bill said edify. Yeah, edify them uh, and edify folks in that way. And so um, that's how you can know your people. Take some time. Sit across the table from them. Get to know them individually. Connect with them personally. Know their strengths. Help them stick to their strengths. Help them minimize their challenges. And... Um, and if you do that, I know that, uh, that you will see a, a profound impact in your leadership um, and, and in your team. And so I hope that helps you today. And that really sums up the uh, Leadership Simplified, the three components of it. I'm going to have the blog here. The videos will all be there if you miss some other ones. Hope that helps you out. Comment on the blog. Comment on this stuff. Um, what kind of stuff do you want to talk about next? Do you want to talk about team leadership? Do you want to talk more about communication in the workplace? Let me know, and, and I'll keep these videos coming with some of the content that, uh, that you want to talk about. And uh, thanks a lot for tuning in, and I will talk to you soon.